Governor-elect Hobbs, thank you very much for joining us tonight. It is uh, great to have you back with us uh, as a winner. Uh, I just want to spend a moment on the campaign because I know be, because you refused to debate Carrie Lake, there were people who wanted you to win, who thought you made a mistake, who thought your campaign was making mistakes and that you were campaigning ineffectively, uh, and they were preparing themselves uh, for Carrie Lake winning because of that. Uh, what was your confidence level in those decisions as you made them, including the decision not to engage in a debate with her? I knew that we were running a solid campaign, a campaign that was doing all the things that we needed to do and that the folks criticizing weren't looking at the same data that we were looking at. Uh, so at the end of the day, uh, I'm here as the governor-elect and we, we ran a good campaign. Do you agree with the sheriff's assessment that the threats uh, to people like you and others uh, are worse this time than they were uh, two years ago after, on the presidential election? Uh, I certainly have experienced uh, the same level of threat that I was under in 2020. Uh, I, it's, it's, it, it probably has escalated, but you have folks like my opponent, Carrie Lake, uh, the Republicans up and down the ticket who are refusing to accept the results. They're calling for uh, redo of the election. Uh, so, of course, what are their followers going to do? They think this election was stolen, just like they're led to believe that the 2020 election was stolen. Uh, it's simply not the case. Uh, but they're being uh, uh, egged on by their political leaders. It's unfortunate. Do, do you think it's uh, accurate to say, uh, as I have, that uh, democracy, democracy was on the ballot uh, in Arizona because people like Carrie Lake and others, the Republican candidate for secretary of state, were virtually pledged to deliver the Arizona's electoral votes to Donald Trump or whoever the Republican presidential candidate was no matter how many votes the Democrat got. Absolutely. I mean, it's not an accident that the former president gave his full-throated endorsement to this entire slate of looking candidates here in Arizona because they pledged their loyalty to him versus the voters of Arizona that they were running to represent. Um, they've made it clear in their actions since this election, refusing to accept the results, uh, that, that they would have done the same thing if they were in these offices of power in the 2024 election. So you take the oath of office as uh, governor in January. Uh, what is Governor Hobbs' first action on day one as governor? Well, I've said many times uh, that I will call a special session to repeal Arizona's pre-row abortion ban. Uh, this is a ban that completely criminalizes abortion. It is far out of touch with the majority of Arizonans who support access to safe and legal abortion. And uh, we are under the threat of this being enacted into law, depending on what the courts do uh, with the injunction that's currently in place on it. 